next at 5:30, the family of the teenager killed in last year's gas explosions in the Merrimack Valley makes their first public appearance since suing the company responsible for his death. It was an emotional day for the Rondon family as they stood with their attorney to speak about the settlement. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Caroline and Steve, it's been 10 months since Lionel Rondon was killed. Video of the aftermath of the gas explosions in Lawrence shows this chimney that came crashing down on his car while he was inside. Now his family is getting some closure and finding new ways to honor Lionel's short life. Horrific video shows the devastation left behind after a series of explosions rocked the Merrimack Valley. More than three dozen homes caught fire and 25 people were hurt. Lionel Rondon was the only person killed. He was only 18 years old and very much full of life. He loved science, music. But most of all, he loved his family. Lionel's family standing behind their attorney in Boston as he announced a settlement in their wrongful death lawsuit against Columbia Gas. The Rondon family has conducted itself with incredible strength, grace, and love throughout this tragic loss. While Lionel's life was cut short, his legacy may live on in new legislation bearing his name, the Lionel Rondon Pipeline Safety Act. Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey introduced the bill back in April. It aims to strengthen pipeline safety by closing regulatory loopholes and increasing safety standards. In addition to the settlement, Columbia Gas and its parent company are setting up a scholarship in Lionel's name. In a statement, they said in part, we recognize the pain that remains and understand that nothing we can ever say or do will bring Lionel back to his loved ones or erase that pain. We are grateful for the opportunity to work with the Rondon family to honor Lionel. Let us never allow such a catastrophe to happen again. Let us never forget the name Lionel Rondon. And due to the confidential nature of the settlement, Chef Law would not answer any questions during today's press conference. They also couldn't say how much money the family is getting. Reporting live in studio, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.